السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today I talk about actually my affection to the youngest patient who died when I was doing my second job in the department of chemotherapy and medical oncology and radiotherapy in the institute of radiotherapy and medical oncology in Glasgow in 1979 uh, I moved from uh, from Reading to Glasgow to work there and this was during Christmas uh, I have these two people work uh, I'm patient one of them was a young beautiful bright uh, recently married uh, young girl at the age of 23 her name was Anne Marie Donnelly and she came with grade 4 uh, ca- cancer of the neck of the uh, womb of the woman of the uterus and she had to go through chemotherapy and to go through radiotherapy as well in a few weeks she became a different woman different young woman she lost her hair she lost her brightness she lost her color she lost her weight she lost her status she lost everything everything we are, we are actually injecting her with deadly poisonous chemical at that time and one day actually uh, the doctors decided to give her the magic the magic the magic the magic uh, therapy which is cortisone so they gave her cortisone and cortisone was like a kiss of life for Anne Marie Donnelly and she felt uh, refresh strong she was walking around with a smile came back to her and the energy came back to her and all this thing and hope came back to her and she said I'm going to go out very soon from here she did not realize that this is pseudo treatment actually fooling her because when we looked at her uh, esophagus in the x-ray we found that uh, uh, the, the bacteria are eating it are eating it are eating it uh, and she's going to die anyway sooner or later. Uh, Anne Marie Donnelly was a victim of multi sexual partner from the early days of the early days of the life of the young girls in any Western country or any even Eastern country nowadays. Went through the this uh, this relationship, there might be some laceration to the neck of the uh, ut- the, of the uh, uterus and the, the, yani this, the, this passage which I don't want to go to in details into the terminology as well as because those young men do not, do not have circumcision uh, the remaining of the fluid will be under the skin of the uh, sexual the, 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 the man sexual organ or the young man sexual organ which increase the inflammation this was the explanation at the 60 and 70 and and 80 at the time and she died as a beautiful young woman who lost her life because treatment no matter how good advanced the country is cannot save her life the second one was a young male uh, who had what we call it lymphoma uh, in his body and was in the terminal stages and this was during Christmas and parties were going here and there and there was on call as well he was at the age of 18 when he came to us very well built young Scott man uh, tall uh, vibrant uh, lively all those kind of good characters in the young man as well but on the night when I was on call to look after him and the others and all the parties in the hospital was happening because of the Christmas and New Year's, I was called back to be told that uh, the gentleman, the young gentleman is unfortunately dying. I have to sit next to him for hours and hours and hours till he died, uh, unfortunately. And I was extremely upset by the departure of these two young people which is the first two young people died in my uh, at the very beginning of my career as a medical doctor in in uk here my reminder to you young men and young women visiting as the professor Hassan said visiting a sick man or woman uh, in hospital and at home uh, if you do that 
Allah will send 70,000 angels to surround you from the time you leave your house to the time you come back to your house. What about when you treat the young men, the young women, the elderly and others, how much reward do you get actually from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? That's why they said to the doctors and the nurses and the people in the medical field that you are like angels for the people because you could be as seen by the people, life savers for them. So when you are a medical doctor, when you are a social worker, when you are a medical worker, stick to the poor and the needy and the most marginalized and be with them all the time. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect you in this life, will raise your status in this life and in the life to come. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.